Hello everyone, today I'm going to uh, the boat festival in St. Catherine Docks. Uh, it's gonna be around 40 vintage boats and I'm so excited to see them. I've never been to this festival, this is the first time. I'm guessing that last year didn't happen because of the pandemic, but this year is definitely happening. And so we just got here. Oh. It's right over there. St. Catherine Docks. Let's see if you can see it. In case you don't know where St. Catherine Docks is, it's five minutes walk from Tower Bridge. I also live five minutes from here by walk, so for me it's very close to get here. Try not to get killed. Woo yeah, so here we are. I'm just gonna turn the camera so you see. So we're just gonna go to the entry as you can see here is a tower bridge and here is the festival happening if you come here the next year so you know where to come so here is the entrance to the festival so beautiful here So here we have Gloriana, the Queen's Roll Barge. And I'm gonna show it to you now. It's so gorgeous. As you can totally see it. And look at all these details. Like, wow. So we are on board of Prunella boat, which is so gorgeous. Here, I'm guessing, is the living room. Look at this. This boat has been in the movie, right? Uh, yes, she was in the Dunkirk film. These are these are the pictures of Dunkirk film, and that's uh, my friend Mark Kurt and I on on Prunella in Dunkirk during the filming. 
Oh, this, and this is the kitchen here. And if you want to read today's newspapers, this is 13th of May 1941. Wow. Original old newspapers. Wow. And is anyone living here in this book? Uh, we, we live on her when we take her around, yes. Ah, uh, like on holidays? I'm taking her to Belgium on Monday, yes. Ah, yeah. so nice. And here is the bedroom? Yes. Looks so nice. Not very comfortable. Um, on, on the ball of your foot is, if you want to go down on the ball of your foot is easiest. So here is the engine room. I'm not gonna go inside. <laughs> original, original electric instruments up front there. We told you we no longer use, we have modern electrics. Yeah. But we kept it all. And in the corner there is the old generator, in the far corner there. Oh, okay. The old generator which still works. And there, against the wall, are the old oil filters with the cloth inside liners of the oil filters. Mm. And to the left is an original workbench. To the left in the engine room, yes, down there. Yeah. Original workbench in the engine room. All the instruments and throttles, everything original. We took the um, uh, we took the instrument panel off and sent it off for reconditioning. It's all it's all original. It's a little. Thank you for showing me around. Pleasure. Thank you for your visit and your enthusiasm. Thank Lovely you. Lovely to have you on board. She was made in 1937. So 1937. Oh. She's 84 years old now. And that's your room? Of course, yeah. And I you live here? Just, uh, hmm? You live here? No, no, we don't live on her. We, see, we, we just use her for trips out and weeks, weeks away or what have you. But she would, have, she would, she's a typical uh, Norfolk Broads cruiser. So that's uh, generally they were built for the holiday hire. Hmm. People would live on them for a week and uh, go home, but this was uh, a privately built boat. Ah, so nice, oh, so small, narrow. Well, for living is plenty, they could live in a boat like this. I could live in a boat like this. Go down below as well. Hey! Don't, don't worry about that. No, don't mind. <laughs> yeah, we're going out anyway. So. No worries. Thank you for letting me. That's all right. You're welcome. Right. Right. Is this your boat? Yes, it is, yeah. Yeah? Yes. How old is this boat? 1958, she was built. 58? Oh, I love the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> built by my grandfather. Really? Yeah, on the oh. Bates. So these are Bates Star Crops. Nice. There are a few of them. And it's from London? No, we're all, we're based in Chertsey in Surrey. Oh, okay. 
Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, this boat. Thank you. My name on it, San John. <laughs> so funny. This boat is from 1935, right? She built 1935. Yeah. And she was um, built for a gentleman that owned Gordon's Gin. Mm -hmm. He bought it as a wedding present for his wife. And that's why she's called Mimosa, because ah, she has her Mimosa name. in her, ah, okay. her wedding bouquet. <laughs> Quite a nice wedding present, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she's obviously been refurbished since then, um, yeah. and, and she did the Dunkirk beaches and what have you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen the film Dunkirk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been on board. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, she was. She was in the film. Yeah. We were in the film with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really good. So this boat lives in London or where? Um, normally in Hull. Oh, okay. So we take her back up to Hull Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's three, three to four day, depending on the weather, three to four day trip. You're quite welcome to go down below and look. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Here we have the living room. Gorgeous. And we are going to have here's where you can sleep. Two beds. And here we have the little kitchen. You can see outside. And I love these small windows. Look how beautiful.
for today. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful, gorgeous vintage boat festival here in London in Sun Catching Dogs. I totally recommend it if you want to come here next year. It's happening every year. Of course, last year didn't happen because of the COVID pandemic and etc. etc. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye!